हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर नंबर 18 डिग्नोमेट्रिकल रेशियोज ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड एंगल्स एक्सरसाइज 18.1 इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर 12 इफ थीटा इज एन एक्यूट एंगल एंड साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू कॉस थीटा फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा एंड हेंस फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ टू टेन स्क्वायर थीटा प्लस साइन स्क्वायर थीटा माइनस वन सो फर्स्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू कॉस थीटा वी विल फाइंड आउट द थीटा वैल्यू If cos theta, I will shift this side. Then I will get sin theta by cos theta is equal to one. Sin by cos is equal to ten. So we have ten theta is equal to one. One is value for forty five degree. So ten theta is equal to ten forty five degree. Therefore, theta value we got here forty five degree. Now this value we have to substitute in this and find out the value of. This two ten square forty five plus sine square forty five minus one ten forty five value is one so one square sine forty five value is one upon root two minus one here we will get two plus one upon two minus one after simplification two minus one we will get one one plus half is one and a half. Next question number thirteen. From the adjoining figure, find the value of tan x, x cos x, and use sin x to find y. So first, we will find out tan x. Tan x is equal to perpendicular by hy perpendicular by base. So perpendicular is root three, base is one. Root three is value for Forty five sixty degree. So this is equal to ten sixty degree. So second part we have to find out the value of x. You can do the comparison. X we are getting sixty degree. Third part we have to find out cos x. Means cos sixty degree. Cos sixty degree value is one by two. Fourth we have to find out the value of y with the help of sin x. Sin x is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse and this is equal to sin 60 sin 60 value is root 3 by 2 and you can compare therefore y we are getting equal to 2 next question number 14 if 3 theta is an acute angle solve the following for theta first 2 sin 3 theta is equal to root 3 So first this two we will shift another side. Sine three theta is equal to root three by two, and root three by two is value for sine sixty degree. So we can replace it with sine sixty degree. Now it means three theta is equal to sixty degree, and theta value is equal to sixty by three, means twenty degree. For the second part. We will change this one into the tan value. One is value for tan forty five degree. Do the comparison of angle. Three theta is equal to forty five. It means theta is equal to forty five by three. Means theta is equal to fifteen degree. Question number fifteen. If tan three x is equal to sine forty five, cos forty five plus sine thirty. Find the value of x. So first, right side we will substitute their value, and then we will do the comparison with left side. So tan three x sine forty five value is equal to one upon root two. Cos forty five value is one upon root two. Sine thirty value is one by two. Tan three x is equal to after multiplication here we will get one by two plus one by two. One by two and one by two, half plus half will become one. And now one we can change into the ten. One is value for ten forty five degree. It means three x is equal to forty five degree, and x value is equal to forty five by three, equal to fifteen degree. Question number sixteen. If four cos square x minus one is equal to zero. And x is greater than equal to zero, less than equal to ninety. Then find the value of 
x sin square x plus cos square x and cos square x minus sin square x so first with the help of this we will find out x value we can shift this one another side we will get 4 cos square x is equal to 1 and 4 also we can shift another side cos square x is equal to 1 by 4 square also we can shift cos x is root of 1 by 4 which is equal to 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 is value for cos 60 degree it means x we are getting here 60 degree second part we have to find out the value of sin square x plus cos square x sin 60 sin square 60 plus cos square 60 sin 60 value is root 3 by 2 whole square cos 60 value is 1 by 2 whole square after squaring 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 and 4 by 4 means it is coming equal to 1. For the third part cos square x minus sin square x. Cos square x already we have done here cos square x which is 1 by 4 minus 3 by 4. So minus 2 by 4 means minus 1 by 2 we are getting. Question number 17 first part if sec theta is equal to cosec theta and theta value is greater than equal to 0 less than equal to 90 then we have to find the value of theta. So we will start from this sec theta is equal to cosec theta. Sec theta we can write 1 upon cos theta and cosec theta we can write 1 upon sin theta. This sin theta if I will shift this side then I will get sin theta upon cos theta is equal to 1 and sin by cos is equal to 10 10 theta is equal to 1 1 is value for 10 45 degree now you can do the comparison theta value we are getting 45 degree question number 17 second part if 10 theta is equal to cot theta and theta value is from 0 to 90 between 0 to 90 then we have to find out the value of theta so 10 theta is given equal to cot theta cot theta we can write as 1 upon 10 theta and if 10 theta I will shift this side I will get 10 square theta is equal to 1. 1 is value for or I can write it as 1 square or this way I can write as 10 45 degree square. So we can do the comparison 10 square theta is equal to 10 square 45 or theta is equal to 45 degree. Question number 18 first part if sin 3x is equal to 1 and 3x is greater than 0 and less than 90 degree then find the value of sin x cos 2x and 10 square x minus sec square x. So we will start from here sin 3x is equal to 1 is given 1 we will change in the form of sin. 1 is value for sin 90. So in place of 1 we can write sin 90. It means 3x is equal to 90 degree and x is equal to 90 by 3 means 30 degree. Now first part we have to find out the value of sin x means sin 30 degree. Sin 30 degree value is 1 by 2. Second we have to find out the value of cos 2x means cos 2 into 30 means cos 60 degree and cos 60 is 1 by 2. Third part we have to find out the value of 10 square x minus sec square x 10 square 30 minus sec square 30. 10 30 value is 1 upon root 3 and seek 30 value is 2 upon root 3. So after squaring 1 by 3 minus 4 by 3 take LCM you will get minus 3 by 3 means minus 1. 19th question if 3 10 square theta minus 1 is equal to 0 find cos 2 theta given that theta is acute angle. 
सो थ्री टेन स्क्वायर थीटा माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो वन वी कैन शिफ्ट अन अदर साइड इट विल बिकम प्लस वन थ्री ऑल्सो वी कैन शिफ्ट अन अदर साइड वन बाई थ्री सो टेन थीटा इज इक्वल टू रूट ऑफ वन बाई थ्री मीन्स वन अपॉन रूट थ्री एंड वन अपॉन रूट थ्री इज वैल्यू फॉर टेन थर्टी डिग्री सो वी कैन रिप्लेस इट विथ टेन थर्टी डिग्री इट मीन्स थीटा इज इक्वल टू थर्टी डिग्री we have to next find out the value of cos 2 theta means cos 2 into 30 cos 60 degree and cos 60 degree value is 1 by 2 question number 20 if sin a plus b is equal to root 3 by 2 equal to cos a minus b and a plus b value is greater than 0 and less than equal to 90 then we have to find out the value of a and b So this root three by two is equal to sine a plus b also and cos a minus b also. So I have written it separately. In the first one, this root three by two I will change into the sine, and in the second one, root three by two I will change into the cos. So we I can do the comparison. Sine a plus b root three by two is value for sine sixty degree. So it means a plus b is equal to 60 degree so first equation i got here cos a minus b will be equal to cos 30 degree because for cos root 3 by 2 is value for cos 30 degree it means a minus b is equal to 30 degree this is second equation now these two equation i will solve and find out the value of a and b if i add these two so after adding we are getting 2a we will cancel out equal to 90 it means a is equal to 45 degree a value you can substitute in any one equation if i take first one from 1 a plus b is equal to 60 or 45 plus b is equal to 60 degree it means b is equal to 60 minus 45 equal to 15 degree so we got here a value is 45 and b value is 15 degree so in this video we are doing till here remaining questions we will continue in the next video thank you for watching this video